Amy and Adam, let's let's start with you two. Okay. So let's um, let, let's talk about the relationship. It's uh, you know obviously gone through some some ups and downs, but it does right. seem to be obviously on an upturn right now. Is this meant to last now? Is there trouble ahead, or, or what can we expect? Well, I think that um, I think that Ben is is the love of Leslie's life for sure, uh, and I think that this season was really great because. Um, Mike and all the writers did such a good job of exquisitely torturing us. <laughs> us who were fans of Ben and Leslie, kept, they kept kind of pulling them apart and pushing them together and yeah. pulling them apart. And uh, so it was really um, great this season to get to play really big comedic moments with Adam and then really small, lovely moments too. So I, I hope um, that, that uh, you know, Ben and Leslie are, are a team from now on. Well, there's always a question of when do you do that and, and how soon. And, 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 you know, Mike, talk about sort of the decision to bring them back together now. Was there a thought of, well, you know, that, that tension sort of goes away? Or, you know, how did you guys decide to pace this relationship out? Well, the original idea was that Leslie would have a series of relationships with different kinds of dudes over many years, hopefully. And so, you know, she, um, she was sort of hung up on Mark Brandanowitz for a while. She dated uh, Louis C.K.'s character, Dave, for a while. She dated Justin Thoreau for a while. And His character. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the truth comes out. <laughs> So we sort of thought that might be interesting to just do a kind of series of, of like significant relationships at different levels with different kinds of people and she could learn. When Greg Daniels and I were originally conceiving the show, one of the titles that we thought of for the show was The Education of Leslie Nope. And the idea was that you would follow both her career education and what she learned and how she got better at her job and then also her personal kind of growth as a human. And um, so we had this idea, and then we, we so she dated uh, Louis' character and Justin Thoreau, and then it's character, and, uh, <laughs> and then we brought Adam Scott in, and it was just kind of like, I don't know, we can't break them up, for God's sakes, look at them, like they're so good together, and his backstory fit in so perfectly with her backstory. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Now he's a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> that was really creepy. It was. It was weird how I held him. Yeah, you held him. Sometimes I pick up Adam and I just go, shh. And I put him in the <laughs> Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. He's he prone to weeping. Uh, yeah. Okay. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Never shake Adam. <laughs> we, we, so uh, anyway, the point is, is like, we, who knows what the future holds. But as far as that thing of like, getting them together and losing the, you know, the frisson of the tension or whatever. I kind of feel like that's silly and you shouldn't worry about that and it's all about execution. And, uh, you know, uh, I learned this from Greg again on The Office. It was like Jim and Pam, you know, we could have waited nine years or whatever to get them together and people would have been clawing their eyes out with frustration. And so it just, we kind of just let the stories tell us when to get them together. And it seemed like, well, and it's, this seems like about the right amount of time. And we just kind of trusted in the creative staff that we would be able to figure out how to still make their relationship interesting after they were together. The dynamic between the two is really interesting because it, we actually found a character who's more uptight than Leslie Knopf. <laughs> and in some ways, that mm -hmm. sort of pushes her into more of the, you know, she, she's looser than ever. And at the same time, she's getting him looser than ever. So yeah, it's both... been fun to play. There have been episodes where Leslie kind of goes off the rails and Ben keeps her grounded, and then other times where Ben loses his mind, <clears throat> and Leslie kind of um, reminds him, you know, about what's important. Um, but, uh, and also it's been fun to uh, play, uh, 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 it was really exciting this year to, to play two people who were f figuring out whether or not they, they um, should be together. And Ben at the same time figuring out whether or not he wants to stay in this town. I think there's something very romantic about people deciding to um, be in love with your own small town. Um, it, and it's like, we talk, we've talked about this a lot, that there's a lot of um, art and television and literature about like moving to the big city. And there's something really sweet about moving to the small town. And F those guys in Eagleton is the other <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>